man in show business. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to answer our viewer mail. Paul, may we hear the haunting and beautiful viewer mail theme. Well, tonight, I have a special holiday treat for everybody here to perform Henry Mancini's music. Is a children's bell choir from Grace Lutheran Church in Yorktown Heights, New York, under the direction of Gail Rudy, ladies and gentlemen. Christmas. The kids in the little bell choir. Very nice. It's, it's beautiful, it's timely, and it, of course, raises the question, will somebody get the door? <laughs> uh, letter number one. Dear Dave, uh, if there were such a thing as a triple-breasted suit, you'd wear it, wouldn't you? Joe Francis, New York, New York. Well, uh, Joe, I, I guess if there was such a thing as a troubled loner t-shirt, you'd wear it, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, wow, scissors. It's Roy, Dale, and Trigger. Letter number two. Dear Dave, how come you're always using staff members to play the parts in your sketches? Can't you afford to hire real actors? Or are you uh, just cheap? Uh, between plays, Dave Nelson, Sacramento, California. Dave must be an actor, it says here, yes. Between plays. Yes, I'm, I'm so happy I fired off those bells. <laughs> <laughs> just now the crew is wading through them for the rest of the night. <laughs> Sounds like we're elf-laden, doesn't it? Turn on the elf gas. Uh, anyway, that's uh, a good question. Uh, why, why do we use staff members in our little sketches? Uh, for your answer, I'd like to turn you over now to uh, the president of NBC Entertainment, Mr. Brandon Tartikoff. Brandon? Hello, I'm Brandon Tartikoff. The reason Late Night uses a lot of staff members for bit parts on the show is simply because there's usually someone on staff who's just perfect for any given role. The fact the staff members get paid extra when they manage to weasel their way in front of the camera has nothing to do with it. So, in conclusion, Dave from Sacramento, why don't you just mind your own damn business? Stage manager. Uh, letter number three. How do you think it's going, by the way, Paul? The uh, Christmas show? Yeah. It's uh, chock full, really, of uh, holiday delight. And Christmas, Christmas happiness? <laughs> yes, indeed. I feel very Christmassy with the yeah. bell choir being okay. here. Yeah, they did a very nice job, didn't they? They were lovely. Letter number three. Dear Dave, how come we never see your mother on your show? Uh, shame on you. Uh, Joanne Lupica, Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, Joanne. Uh, the reason that my mother does not appear in front of the camera is because she's too valuable behind it. You see, my mother plays a very important part in this broadcast night after night. Is that right, Mom? That's right. We haven't had a tangle in years. Good. Keep up the good work. Mom over there pulling cable. The cable puller. Yippee! <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of cable is that, Mom? Top of the line, 850 coax, Dave. Okay, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! She pinched off her air hose. Are you all right, Mom? <laughs> well, okay. Here we go. Is the show over? No. no. Hey, I still have more comedy here. Hi, Mom. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're shoveling the sidewalks, you know what to do. <laughs> you taught me well. Yeah. That's... <laughs> <laughs> you taught me well. <laughs> uh, dear Dave, why do you call the waiting room for your guests uh, the green room? Nothing green in it. This observation comes to us from Mrs. Louise Rock Seawarren, 
Warren, New Jersey. See Warren, Paul? Have you ever been to uh, Sea Warren? Sea Caucus. I've been there. No, it's Sea Warren, New Jersey, it says here. A uh, question about the green room. Well, uh, Louise, you're, you're actually mistaken about that. Hal, can we take one of those cameras into the green room? Sure, they are. All right, I think you'll uh, see what we're talking about. See, there's the green room, Louise. And you know, there is something green in the green room, but it's, it's only visible to the young and the very young at heart. And of course, I'm talking about the beloved green room pixie. And let's see if we're very quiet and very still. Perhaps we'll see him. Oh, there he is. Well, apparently we caught him at an unguarded moment. And, all right. Do we, how, how are we doing on time? Are we a little, a little late, a little early? How are we doing? 30 seconds over. 30, 30 seconds over. Well, then we better move right along then. Uh, oh, uh, as soon as we come back, we're going to show you these dangerous toys. Also from uh, Newhart, Peter Sklari is with us, and uh, Lenny Kravitz. Quite a show. Thank you very much, Mom. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 